Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of January. I'm James Spann. We stay below freezing again today, all day, but tomorrow we finally climb above freezing. Let's get in there and take a look. Uh, uh, this is the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite view, and clearly the big eastern U.S. trough is still in place. And if you pull out and look at North America, you can see the delivery mechanism for the brutally cold air cross polar flow. But again, the pattern will de-amplify in the days ahead, and that means a warming trend, but not today. Uh, those numbers as low as they have been here in just about 18 years. Last time it was this cold was in February of 1996, Birmingham at 8. Now, these are at 5 o'clock. These are not lows. Uh, the, the natural lows could be a little below these values. Uh, Birmingham at 8, that shatters the old record of 11, set in 1970. Haleyville, 3. Coleman, 4. 9 at Anniston and Gadsden. And uh, sub-freezing values all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Mobile, 18 degrees at daybreak. And around the nation, just the uh, numbers speak for themselves. The eastern half in the deep freeze. But again, uh, we are slowly going to dig out of this later this week. We've still got wind chill warnings in effect for uh, much of the eastern half of the United States. Hard freeze warnings in the Gulf Coast. Got some lake effect snow issues. Uh, Buffalo, New York, uh, Grand Rapids, places like that, Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, where the effect of Buffalo, uh, I'm not so, so sure if they are as of this point, but as of last night, they were under a blizzard warning. Okay, this is the rain for the next seven days. So this carries us through Tuesday morning of next week. And this is showing some pretty big numbers here. Uh, rain amounts of uh, one to two inches here. And the weekend could be pretty wet, as you'll see. And uh, at the beginning of this next event, there could be some freezing rain over a pretty good chunk of northern and central Arkansas and some of the adjacent states. This is the chance of uh, greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain from midday tomorrow until midday Thursday. We do not expect any problems here. Look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. And the big trough is lifting out. Down below that, we are very cold. Uh, we won't get past the mid-20s, but at least the wind, not as harsh today, and the sun will be out in full force. But still, looks are going to be deceiving. Tomorrow, now tomorrow morning is going to be cold again. We're expecting lows probably 10 to 15 for most spots. But by late morning, we should climb above freezing. You see the thickness values are coming up. The 540 line retreats north up into Tennessee. Uh, the high should be in the low 40s. That will wrap up a period of 60 or more consecutive hours with sub-freezing temperatures. Thursday, and you can see this is where rain begins to break out west of the state. And Thursday morning, there might be a touch of freezing rain over maybe parts of Arkansas and Missouri, uh, but not here. We think the uh, day Thursday will be dry and a good chance we see low 50s, and that's where we should be for January. And this is Friday. Again, that looks like a dry day. Uh, upper 50s are likely as the thickness values keep coming up and the rain should be west of the state. But as you plan your weekend, I'm afraid it's going to be pretty wet. This is Saturday. You can see troughing off to the west and down below that a pretty good rain event. That rain might begin after midnight Friday night. And uh, this is suggesting the rain will linger into at least Saturday morning, maybe Saturday afternoon. Uh, temperatures should be warmer with highs in the 60s. In fact, the GFS is showing 68. And I found this interesting. Look at that. There's some instability here. In fact, down in South Alabama, the instability exceeds uh, 750 joules per kilogram. So there could be some thunder, uh, especially over South Alabama with this thing on Saturday. You go from uh, single-digit lows to having a chance of thunder here in a few days. And then Saturday night, there's probably a break in the rain, but now the GFS develops another low back off to the west with more rain moving in here Sunday morning. This is Sunday at noon, and this is Sunday at 6 p.m. That surface low is right on top of us. So if this happens to be correct, we'll have another soaking rain 
Sunday, maybe through Sunday night. So this is why you can see with this double barrel type system, there could be some big rains. However, the confidence is not high in this solution because every run has looked different. We have seen other runs that are dry on Sunday. But for now, we'll lean toward the wetter solution, and this is Monday. The rain is gone. Weather turns a little cooler, but not much. Highs drop in the 50s, and this is uh, a week from today. I'd say temperatures where they should be for this time of the year with highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s, and we're dry. Go out there later in the month. This is the 17th of January, and again, this is where another 1046 high comes down across the uh, pike. Very cold up north, and we're catching some of the cold air, and this is hinting there might be some snow here, maybe from Nashville up toward uh, Lexington and Louisville, Kentucky, and rain showers here. And the following day, this is the 18th, another nice trough over the east and more cold air. Nothing like this, but that would be colder. That's a 1048 millibar high. So evidence of maybe another cold shot uh, around the 17th or 18th. But then look at the 22nd of January. Uh, We've got ridging here. And down below that, a big warm-up as temperatures go uh, very mild for this time of the year. Uh, Wouldn't that be nice? And this is the... uh, Arctic Oscillation, we, we had one control run yesterday that really spiked the AO positive out there toward this period, but other runs are not as bullish. And if the AO goes positive, it kind of shuts down the ability for the source region to generate cold air down and through here. Uh, but again, just evidence that just maybe we'll see a nice stretch of mild weather uh, in late January, but the winter is far from over. It's just getting cranked up. So I fully expect uh, more decent cold snaps into February and March. We all know some of the bigger winter weather events here have come uh, deeper in the season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.